What's up everybody, it's Sam with Cape Fear Collectibles. Today, we are going to be cracking open a collector box of Frexy All Will Be One. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff in here, including the 20 different versions of Elish Norn. That's going to be a delight to try to figure out when listing all our singles. So, not really looking forward to that, but it's always fun to crack a new set. Um, Appreciate everybody that's been liking, subscribing, viewing our videos. And with that little mention, if you could go ahead and give us a like, follow, all that good stuff. We appreciate it. We're a local game store based in Wilmington, North Carolina. We're trying to do some more content, and we appreciate all the support you guys give us. So helps to uh, encourage us to do more of it. Um, also, what was the other, I think these were Japanese packs, so we're going to have the rares in the front. Uh, we're going to be going live on Whatnot today too, as soon as we're done with this, cracking some packs. So if you haven't checked that out, hop on Whatnot, it's a pretty cool platform, you can bid on uh, whatever, almost anything, not just the magic stuff, but alright, here we go, Phyrexian Might is up first, and then we got a very nice looking Phyrexian Arena, borderless foil. And then Ovika, Enigma, Goliath. Very cool looking artwork right there. And the first oil slick, I think that's what they're calling this promo. Yeah, that's wild. Kind of reminds me of a, I guess you could get a little nostalgia feel with that. <laughs> Looks like some old foils from like Marvel cards. But that's a Graz Unstoppable Juggernaut. Take a look at that foiling. It's kind of cool. And then we got Thrumming Bird. Cool. Nice artwork. Bright Belly Rat. Then Sky Hunter Strike Force for your commander slot. And a Borderless Encroaching Myco Synth. And then we got Vran Executioner of Thrain foil. And our first Brexian Land Island. Very cool. And against all odds, Apostle of Invasion. That's cool looking. Oil Gorger Troll, Forge Hammer Centurion, and Offer of Immortality. Oh, that's a really cool looking artwork. And then Duelist of Deep Faith. Cool. So I'll go through the uh, commons and uncommons a little slower, let you check well. I'll at least show them for the first couple packs and then we'll just stick with the rares and mythics and all that jazz because that's what everybody's here for. Alright, there's our token. First card we got is Slow Bad Iron Goblin. Very cool. And we got a Sea Chrome Coast Borderless. Nice looking artwork there. Thrumming Bird and that Oil Slick. Neat. And then we got Sinew Dancer, Necrogen Rot Priest, followed by Containment Grafter, another Phyrexian Arena, and a Tekathol, Tekathol Inquiry Dominus Foil Mythic. And then we got that very pretty Phyrexian Landscape Mountain. And then we've got S uh, Silvok Battle Chair. Font of Progress, Thirsting Roots, and Contagious Vorak. That's pretty gnarly looking. Glistener Seer, and Indoctrination Attendant. That's pretty cool too. Like I've said in previous videos, I've, like, I've looked at prices on uh, some of the cards, but the main reason for doing this is just to check out the new artwork got plenty of time to look over prices and whatnot and in general all the prices that you see right now are probably going to drop significantly so getting excited about price is not that big of a deal right now obviously if we hit a Elish Norn that's cool and I'll probably get excited about that but right now we're just checking out the artwork like on this dark slick shores and then we've got Skelv Defector Might 
I don't know how I feel about this artwork. It's pretty cool. Um, Tukenthal Inquiry at Dominus in that oil slick pattern or treatment, I guess they're calling it. Necrogen Rot Priest and Thrumming Bird. Staff of the Storyteller for the commander spot. White Sun's Twilight. That's pretty sweet looking. And then Ickermore Gotlet Mythic. Oil. Nice. Ooh, there we go. Oh, okay. This is, huh. Interesting. So not everything is going to be the Frexian. This is a Frexian plane. So that is pretty sweet. The other ones are just the, I guess these don't come in every, uh, every pack. Unnatural Reaction. Armored Scrap Gorger. Basilica Skull Bomb. Fleshless Gladiator. Oh, that's cool looking. Damn, that's nice artwork. And then Orthodoxy Enforcer and an Eye of Malkator. The special treatment stuff I'm not, I don't know, I'm on the fence, but I do like the general artwork of the of this set. It looks pretty nice. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. All right. We've got Vindictive Flame Stoker, followed by, oh, what is this? Uh, God, what's your name? I can't remember. But a complete version. Oh, I'm having a mind blank. Somebody will drop it in the chat, I'm sure. I'll put it to the side. Bone Picker Scourge. Blight Belly Rat. Quicksilver Fisher. Ruck Hex Gold Nabber. Red Sun's Twilight. Ooh, that's cool. And Vic another Vindictive Flame Stoker. And an Rexia. Or what is this? Just a island with. Uh, Phyrexian landscape. Cool. Urabrask's anointer. Chittering skitterling. Oh, that's pretty wild looking. And then Terranax atrocity. Oop, skip one. Shrapnel slinger. Vraska's fall. And compliet devotion. Oh man, I forget what that. I really want to. I literally have almost never played with her, and so <laughs> that's kind of why I don't remember what her name is. <laughs> now it's driving me crazy. God, what's her name? Uh, can't remember. All right, Frexian Might for the token slot. Then we got Monument to Perfection, and I've noticed the uh, uh, foiling in general is looking a lot better. From ooh, nice attracts a Grand Unifier. That's a nice one. And then Sulfin Mayhem Dominus in that oil slick. Sawblade Scamp. Urbrest Anointer. Norn's Choir Master. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then the Monumental Facade. And then Tablet of Completion. And there's the island in the Phyrexian treatment. That's pretty cool. Alright, and all the commons and uncommons. Let's get to Zahira. Zahira? Zah no, nah, not a Z. Someone think an A. God, I will not be able to rest in my mind until I remember. Nahiri? Nahiri? Nahiri. It's Nahiri, right? Oh, we got it. I'm pretty sure it's Nahiri. At least one version of her. I don't know the exact name, but I think it's Nahiri. I'm sure the chat. Not the chat, but the uh, in the comments section, somebody will let us know because I can't remember. All right, Mind Splice Apparatus, gnarly. Copperline Gorge, Blight Belly Rat, Sinew Dancer, Quicksilver Fisher, and then we got Chiss Goria Forge Tyrant. That's cool. Scales Hive. And then Red Sun's Twilight. Ooh, nice. These are really cool. <laughs> I got a Phyrexian Forest right there. And here's all the commons and uncommons. Ooh, I haven't seen that one yet. That's pretty cool again. Man, the artwork's so good in this. All right, what do we got? One, two, six packs halfway there. I'll start speeding it up a little bit, folks. <sighs> Do, do, do. Right. Rebel Token. We've got 
Kaya, Intangible Slayer, First Planeswalker, and uh, whatever version you want to call this. Man, this is like super detailed. It looks like it would be textured, but it's not. It's weird. All right, then we got Mig Laws Maze Crusher, followed by Rhea Ivor, Bane of Bladehold. Cool. Another Sinew Dancer, Sawblade Scamp, Glissa's Retriever, uh, Mirex, and an Argentum Master Core, and another Frexian Foil Land Treatment, the forest version of that. <clears throat> All right, next one. What do we got to y'all? I have not seen it. Where is it? Okay. That's pretty sick. Damn, that's super cool. I don't, seems like we've only had those rebel tokens on the top. Alright, Zenith Chronicler, followed by Kimba Ka Enduring, and then another Quicksilver Fisher, Blight Belly Rat, Furnace Punisher, Volshock Factory, Mercurial Spell Dancer. Kimba, Ka, Enduring, uh, and our first mountain in the Phyrexian treatment. Very cool. Yeah, these are pretty dope. Not gonna lie. Viral spawning, and your commons and uncommons. Ooh, that's pretty cool. See, this is why I try not I, I don't really want to skip the commons and uncommons, because I just want to see the artwork. That's super dope. Damn, that's nice. Honestly, I've been more like, I like the, the artwork and the commons and uncommons more than the uh, rare slots, it seems like. Alright, Frixie Might, what's on the back of that? Cough. Alright, we've got Chris Gordia, Forge Tyrant in the Borderless. Then Karamonix, the Rat King. Cool. Rustvine Cultivator. Blight Belly Rat, Sawblade Scamp, and then Roar of Resistance, and then a Green Sun's Twilight, cool, and then Malkator Purity Overseer, and a Island in the Phyrexian Treatment, and your commons and uncommons. Dude, that's cool. Three left. No Elish Norn so far. Feels bad. No Shieldred either. We haven't seen a Shieldred. I know those would be two nice snags. Alright, what do we got? Lux Artillery. Followed by Tyran Tyranex Rex. This spell can't be countered. Trample Toxic 4 Ward 4 Haste. Jesus. That seems like a good uh, reanimator target. Then we've got Urbrask's Anointer. Furnace Punisher, Sinew Dancer, Worm Quake, Ooh. Black Sun's Twilight. Oh, we've seen most of the Twilights so far. Malira, the Living Cure, and then a Swamp. Ooh, that's cool. Man, these lands are nice. Wizards Watsy has been doing uh, doing work on those lands. They are not disappointing with those lately. Ooh, that's super cool. Adaptive Spore Slinger. And then uh, Flensing Raptor. Alright. Last two. Can we hit an Elishnorn? Can we hit a Shieldred? Only time will tell. Let's see what we got, folks. The Eternal Wanderer. Oh, shit. Nice. That's pretty cool. Sure, that'll uh, stay uh, catching a pretty penny because the Wandering Emperors stayed uh, pretty expensive. Uh, Thron Breaker of Silence, and then Unctus Grand Meditect, Bladed Ambassador, another Bladed Ambassador, Urtek Remnant of Minarch, and then we got Blue Suns Twilight. I think we've seen almost. I think we've seen all the uh, Twilights. That's pretty interesting. 
Blade of Shared Souls, and then we got another Swamp. Cool. Rebel Salvo, Trolley Drake. Ooh, that's cool. Aspirant, Aspirant's Ascent. That's a nice looking card. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm, I think I'm liking the artwork for this set. So far, anyway. Definitely more so in the uh, common and common slot. Like some of these, like crazy, whatever they, treatments you want to call. Sometimes I think it's just too much. Like stick with the basics. Just nice, good looking art. We got Azuri, a stalker of spheres. Come on, Shieldred or Elshnorn. Nope. Evolved Spinoderm. Followed by Sawblade Scamp. Rustvine Cultivator. Sawblade Scamp. And Glistening Sphere. The Filigree Silex. And the Mycosynth Gardens. And a mountain. No Elish Norn, feels bad. Charforger, Necrosquito. Ooh, that's cool. Well, interesting. No Elish Norn or Shielded. We did get that Wonder, that was probably a good, I'd say that was maybe one of the better hits, but again, there's so many versions of the cards, I have not kept up with everything. Let's see how many mythics we got. Interesting than that many. There's one, two, three, four. That was a good one, too. I forgot about that. Five, six, six so far. I know this is one little point of interest some people have. Is they would, they're curious. Oh, yeah. Seven. Eight. Eight in the box. It's not bad. And they were all, some of them were different art styles, so that's cool. There's only one, two two basic ones, the rest were like different treatments. Interesting. Well, anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, if you guys give us a like, follow, subscribe, we're going to probably do a giveaway. If you subscribe, like the video, we'll give away a uh, collector pack at random. Uh, we'll be posting about that on Instagram as well. Um, and like I said, check us out on whatnot. We're going to be on there all week uh, selling uh, Frexial will be one and we'll have bounties on there. So if you hit certain cards, you win stuff. It's pretty fun. Um, but anyway, appreciate you guys uh, watching and we'll see you next time.